Ricky says he loves his girlfriend, Rhonda, and he's even ready to marry her, which is very sweet. But he doesn't know if he can build a life with a woman he believes is lying to him and having an affair. Ricky says he has indisputable proof that Rhonda has been cheating on him for almost a year. Everyone, please help me welcome Ricky to my show. Okay, Ricky, I'm glad you're here, but I want to hear, how, what's going on between you and Rhonda? I mean, I love this girl. She's a beautiful woman. We've been together for a year Aww. and a half. Mm -hmm. You said you've been together a year and a half, yet you think for a year she's been cheating on you. Right. What is giving you that suspicion? Because I have videotapes. We have cameras in each other's house. So you have videotapes. Did you bring it in here for me to see? Yes, I did. Okay, can I watch them? Yes. Okay. That's her texting on the phone. She throws down the phone. If you could zoom in, you see a guy picture on the phone. Okay. That's the guy picture on the phone. Okay. And I mean, and that's the recent picture. That's not even um, a month ago. Okay. Do we have any other videos that you brought? Yes. That's our, somebody calling, hello. Okay, hello, yeah. I'm just getting ready to throw some water on me and run over, over there. there. Oh, run over where? She was supposed to be talking to her girlfriend. Her girlfriend lived right upstairs. Why do you got to run over somewhere? And then uh, Okay, it okay, says, we see it again. Okay, and do you have any other videos? Yes, it's another one. Okay. Like she's in the bed. That's her saying, oh. Hey. Hey. I got company, I usually ride solo. Now, her sister's in there with her. Why is you saying you talking to your sister if you got company and you riding solo? Okay, so these three videos, um, I can't really tell from them, but what's interesting to me is, why are the cameras in the bedroom? Because when we first got together, I moved into her apartment. Okay. So she said, for the safety reasons, she wanted to put a camera in, the, in my house. Mm -hmm. So. For safety reasons, she needed to put a camera in your house? Yeah, that's what she told me. Okay. So, and then how'd she get a camera in her house? Because I said, you want one in my house, I want one in your house. Oh, with tip the tap. Right. Y'all clapping, hold on, no, no, I got it. Y'all clapping for tip for tap like that? <laughs> Y'all really think that's healthy? I want to welcome Rhonda to the show now so we can get her side of the story. Rhonda, come on out. Hello, Rhonda. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yes. Ooh. Those are lies. Those are all damn lies. You know damn well that video said I'm going to get up, watch, and go to Easy Pick. They ain't say nothing about getting oh. no I'm strictly okay. I'm, I, I don't get I'm a person. I didn't say Yes, you did. I don't want to hear that. OK. Take a seat for Please. me, Rhonda. Let's get real. Let's look at No, at, let's look. Listen, we can listen, look at that video, video all day. Listen you show it to every last one of my family members, Ricky. Yeah. And they said the same thing. They don't hear it. Yeah. Rhonda, right, before you came out here, Ricky said to me that he feels that you turn up the TV in your house so that way he can't hear what you're saying. Is that something you do? No. Okay. You just said that he showed your entire family this video. Yes. What did your family say when they saw that video? He, he crazy. Okay. Mm. They really want me. Some of them say I might as well leave him because he ain't doing nothing but causing me stress. Mm. No. Do you feel not. stressed most of the time? Yes. You feel stressed? Because he already know with my lifestyle, I told him when I met him, I'm a very busy woman. I'm an independent woman. I don't need I no man that. to validate I me. I that. ain't got no reason to go that. out there and mess around that. on you. And it's a damn shame. I'm in love with your dumb ass. And I don't even know why. Because I keep getting accused of, accused of get cheated. Oh, I called my old boyfriend. That's some Rhonda. So, Rhonda, I want to know from you. It, what was really going on in the video then? I was talking to one of my sisters. We was getting ready to go to New York. I was late getting up because we were supposed to leave at 10 o'clock. It was 8 o'clock in the morning when I jumped up. And he's talking about, the, oh, the camera it didn't, it looks my phone announces names. The camera didn't pick that up because mm -hmm. the camera is motion. If yeah. I didn't move, the camera wasn't going to ping. The phone is already ringing. Yeah. So while uh, you was in there, in the bed with your sister, she stayed the night, and then you say, oh, that was company. a damn TV. So why do you think he thinks you're cheating? 
Outside because the videos. I, I seem to think he's the one that's doing the cheating. He's very insecure. He done called his other ex-girlfriend to tell her the situation with us. And then he gonna tell, oh, he, she's in, under the impression that she's getting back with him. No. And then yeah. I went through his phone and it was the first number that popped up. So I called it. And he going to tell, I said, well, you make this decision now. And then he going to tell her, oh, uh, mm. I, I, I want to be with her. Wow. So, did she hang and up told, on him? I, I said I wanted to be with you. That's what I'm saying. And I'm do I'm telling him, he said, uh, I want to be so with her. So do you monitor Ricky's phones? I mean, cameras? No. You don't no. monitor his cameras? I check them every once in a while. Okay. And mm -hmm. coincidentally, some said check them because I keep hearing a click in my own camera when I'm sitting there talking on the phone. He's sitting there monitoring me, listening to everything I'm saying, like I'm trying to hide something. You are a beautiful woman, you are a handsome right. man, and you're in the prime of your life where you should be enjoying time, not have somebody checking up on you. Why are y'all adding all this unnecessary drama to your life? I, I ain't adding, I'm about to get rid of it. Oh. <laughs> Especially if it, don't, if it don't straighten up the day, it's done. That's why I came on the show, I want this to work out. Okay, so what do you think you need to do to have this work out? Cause she just told you right now that she's ready to leave. So I'm gonna have to do what I gotta do to so make this work. what does work. he need to do to make this work? Stop accusing me of these bold faced lies that he keep coming up with. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, I'm gonna work on it. Do you think you can take the cameras out of the bedroom? No. I can. No. Okay, because the part of the thing that I realized is that not only is this unnecessary drama in both of your lives, there's a control element that's happening here. Mm -hmm. By having a camera in her bedroom is your way of controlling and dictating her actions and seeing what she's doing. Listen, you should never have a camera in your partner's bedroom. Mm -hmm. That is an invasion of privacy and it's yeah. doing nothing but showing that you are too insecure to believe that your woman is okay with being trustworthy. I already asked you why they were put in there. My question to you was, can you take it out? And you said no. So that's why I said there's a part of control right. here. All right. Because what you're doing here is you're just trying to control her actions. Whatever it was put in for, we've seen that the cameras in are making your relationship worse. Mm. So you got to take those cameras out. From the day I met you to today, I have not cheated on you or thought about cheating on you. So but accusations have to stop. What else has to stop? The drinking. Mm -hmm. There we go. The only reason that you got all this time to be doing something, I figured there was something going on with alcohol or some other right. moments. Do you drink too much? I have control over it because I know my limits. Ricky, two days yes. ago, shall we bring it up? Oh. Two days ago. Two, three days ago. Come on now, stop. Mm. You, you said you want to try to fix it. You want to get yourself some help. Stop I lying. I am. But I got help. Help with help. Mm -hmm. There's no guys giving yeah. away you got help in two days. Mm. When you're drinking too much, it's causing you to feel paranoid. It's causing you to make irrational decisions. Mm -hmm. And you're at a point in your life where one of those irrational decisions is connected. That drinking is connected directly to this camera, which is making you feel paranoid, making you feel like something else going on. I watched those videos. If I watched and saw my partner wake up and say, oh, I'm getting ready, going somewhere, I got to wash myself off, not one point is going to think that they're cheating. Mm -hmm. You think they're cheating because you just drank and there's paranoia. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? No. Would you agree because with that? It was, you, no, I'm going to ask was, you. Listen, I'm going to ask with you. Would well, you agree with that? Yes. Thank you. So, because I, I've been doing sometimes this for a long time. I do. Sometimes, sometimes I do. Sometimes. There we go. We're getting not, closer not, to it. Not all the time. Yeah. I'm not going to accuse you of being an alcoholic because I don't know your life. What I am going to say is that right I now admit, there's... I admit, I used to be an alcoholic. Yes. I right. admit. I, I appreciate I admit. that. I, I went to rehab and I, re I finished the program and I came back out. Those things are causing anxiety and, and, and a lot of issues in your life. And as it, two, you want to say something? The drinking, that's, if he, if he don't admit 100%, there's no such thing as was an alcoholic, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> uh, you, once, you, once you're alcoholic, I don't care how clean you are. Once you're a drug addict, I don't care how clean you are. You, you're yeah. a drug addict. I understand that. And there's no change in that. But that drinking, bite me on my shoulder and choke me, oh, when your it? ass got the hell yeah. up, you know, no. you know you got a problem. Mm -hmm. I knocked your ass out, All and right. I would do it again. All right. So, so that, that drink ain't got to stop. See, what we're hearing now is the real truth of this relationship. There's alcoholism. There's drinking that's playing into your relationship. It's causing mistrust. It's causing paranoia. And this is being stemmed from you. And so what I have to say to you is that you already know. I can see you're a strong woman. 
You're with this man because you see something in him that you love. And I believe there, you're, you're a very lovable man. But for you, you already know it. Until he gets control of this, that your relationship is always going to be toxic. And you are too fine, you are too fly not, to be in this toxic situation. This so step one is the cameras have to go. If you right. can't commit to getting rid of the cameras, then you got to go. And that's going to be the truth. Thank you. Exactly. Once no the cameras go, yeah. once the cameras go, you got to start working on your addiction with alcohol. Because that addiction with alcohol is going to plague this relationship forever. Now I'm going to ask you this. Would you like help with your addiction with alcohol? Because I can help you there. I'll take the help. Thank you. I'll take I will help. give you that help. I will give you that help. Listen, everyone. Listen, everyone. As we know, when you're in a relationship, it can be hard. It can be difficult. But you have to remember that sometimes the thing that you think is the obvious reason is not really. You got to dig deeper. You got to figure out what's going on. And you have to be willing to make the change. We saw that today. And I'm proud of you. And I think y'all going to work out in the end. Everyone, thank you for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. Remember, I love you. Hold on, where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more, period.